Welcome back to Tuesday's Midday. We now have Linda Hudson with us from the Food Bank of Central Louisiana. Linda, always great to have you with us. Well, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Yeah. It's summer. Y'all are summer. busy. It, we are. <laughs> so. We are. Um, summer, you know, always seems to get here quicker than we're ready for. Maybe not for the school teachers and school children, mm -hmm. but um, we are we are staying busy both at our warehouse on Baldwin Avenue, at our partner agencies across our 11 parish service area, and then of course our 26 mobile pantries. Right. Um, again, we talk about this every year. You know, during the summer, people about vacation and doing fun things and being out of school. But one thing that we see at the food bank is the need for food increasing during the summer. A lot of kids who get breakfast and lunch at school may not have access to a summer feeding program or may not have a, a way to get there and so we know that those families who struggle some during this during the school year it gets even worse during the summer mm -hmm. um, grocery prices again continue to kind of feel like at an all-time high so we have a lot of families who just need a little help to get through to make sure they have enough food to feed the kids and the adults in the household Absolutely. And so um, I was looking earlier, the, the mobile distribution site for the month of June, I know y'all put that, um, you know, up online and it's a pretty long list right there. It <laughs> is. We, we are currently doing 26 mobile sites a month. Um, a couple of days we have two sites, but um, again, with that program, what we're trying to do is meet the need where people are. Mm -hmm. We don't want them to have to drive into Alexandria to get food. So we look at some rural communities where we don't have partner agencies and we take those trucks, you know, every 30 days, people know on you know the second Tuesday of every month we're at this location for a certain time period so they know they can come get food from us again without having to come to Alexandria absolutely and people watch out for that too they're ready for y'all to get there right oh yes there's usually a line waiting again like at the food bank that whole process is a drive-through process mm -hmm. we are at the time for people to recertify okay. so what that need means is they need to bring their picture ID the proof of income for the household and then let us know how many people are living in the household it's a very mm -hmm. simple process um, again, we still do it on iPads. You don't have to come inside. Uh, we try to make it as easy and convenient as possible. Okay, is there a certain time that people need to reapply by or just whenever they come by? So by July 1st, they okay. everybody needs to reapply. So, But we started early um, to get that done just because, again, it's getting hotter and the, the quicker we can get those done and get the line moving faster is better for everyone. All right, so how can people in the community help y'all? Sure, so we are always asking for your time, um, your food, and your money those things you know all throughout the year food drives during the summer months also slow down just mm -hmm. because you know schools aren't in session a lot of things aren't happening so people interested in hosting food drives dropping off donations at the food bank of course you know donating financially we, we support you know we're supported by mainly people in central Louisiana and so we continue to need people to support us and then also with volunteering um, one thing I recommend during the summer, the warehouse gets warm. We usually encourage if you can come in the morning, that's usually a better time. Right. But we utilize volunteers Monday through Friday from 8.30 to noon and 1 to 3. All right, and that's for pretty much anyone, high school kids, anyone. That's right. Um, okay. Kids that need um, beta hours and some of those community service hours for the upcoming school year, this is a great time to get those done so you're not trying to fit that in your schedule while you're back at school. Absolutely. Is there anything in particular that's really needed to help families out right now? You know, we always talk about protein, um, a convenient, easy way to get protein. Um, peanut butter okay. is great. Again, that can be used for individuals who may be, you know, unhoused, that they stuff they don't have to prepare. Mm -hmm. uh, tuna fish, uh, canned chicken, protein, beans, um, but really any, we encourage, if it's something that you like to eat, a non-perishable right. food item that you like, those are the kind of things that we recommend that you donate. All right. Anyone that wants more information, how can they get it? They can give us a call at 445-2773, visit our website or our Facebook, or stop by. If people are interested in a tour, we'd love to show them around. Absolutely. Linda, thanks so much for being Thank with you. us. Thank you. Absolutely. And we'll be back after the break.